Man, great God, we God. Sometimes, brother, for the Fred, all we feel that we can do is just raise your hands up and say thank you, Lord. All we can do, brother Elisha. Never, never pay him back for all that he has done. To try for the rest of my life uh, down here on this uh, world and, and for all eternity, brother Josh, but never find enough gifts to, that God give on Calvary, brother Fred. There's two days in this 365-day uh, calendar that, that we find, and I, two of them, to me, Brother Elisha, is important to me more than anything uh, uh, other than the day that I found the Lord, Brother Josh. And uh, one day you'll find that it's Christmas time, Brother Fred. And one night in, the, one night, uh, in Bethlehem, Jesus was born into this world, Brother Elisha. Amen. And that was a great gift unto this world, the most precious gift that was ever given unto this world. But then you'll find another day, Brother Fred, that uh, they call Easter, Brother Jason. Yeah. And uh, yeah. uh, it's on that morning of all mornings. Uh, uh, that's to believe the second most greatest morning we'll ever see, right. Brother. And, uh, uh, and I'll get to the first in just a minute, but uh, uh, this is called Easter morning for a reason. Uh, uh, listen, Jesus got out of the grave, Brother Elisha, as you told him. And uh, uh, listen, when he got up out of the grave, he showed death, and uh, he had the keys now. Uh, uh, he had the keys to death, life. Uh, uh, listen, he on the grave, brother. And uh, uh, listen, in Jesus now, that's the only name I find in the Bible given on the earth that a man can be saved, Brother Francis, yeah. Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, you get there. You You'll get there through Jesus. Uh, uh, will I put money in the play and I'll come to church every Sunday? Uh, uh, listen, that'll not get you nowhere, brother. Friend, in life, you gotta uh, be born again. The Bible says, uh, uh, "Listen, Nicodemus, I believe it was. How can yeah. I be born again? How can I go back to uh, my mother's womb and be born again, Nicodemus? Uh, uh, he didn't know, but listen, Jesus explained to him. Uh, uh, listen, Nicodemus, you can't go back into uh, and be born again. It's not that born. Uh, no." It's another birth, amen. Uh, uh, I've had a birth I can't remember and one I can't forget. Amen. Amen. Brother Jason, uh, uh, you got to be born again. The blood's got to be applied, Brother Elisha, to your body, uh, uh -huh. to your soul, amen. Uh, uh, listen, there's uh, uh, many things we can preach on in the Bible, Brother Fred, but if right. God's not there, it don't do no good. Uh, right. uh, but He said my word and not go out void. Uh, 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 it ain't hard, brother. Uh, uh, listen, and I'm glad of Him for that today. Uh, uh, but you know what? I'm thankful, Brother Fred, this morning. If I don't say nothing else, uh, uh, listen, I'm glad that Jesus came into my heart Amen. a little over two years ago. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, I wasn't worthy, Brother. And, uh, I don't believe no man is, uh, uh, Brother. But as uh, Elisha was telling you that uh, uh, Jesus listened to that uh, uh, when he was talking about uh, uh, Jesus was hung on the cross and there was the tree of life. Uh, uh, brother, we find here in the Bible it came to my mind. Uh,
I'm glad God don't change you. Uh, I'm glad, listen, if we come to church and don't get blessings, it's not God's fault, Brother Brad. Uh, uh, listen, if you come to church with your cup up, turn up. Uh, I got a God that will feel it till it rims over the sauce. Amen. Uh, uh, listen, I'm thankful for that. Uh, uh, but listen, I want to tell you this. It's on my heart and I'll get out of the way. Uh, listen, you know there was one time that Paul uh, was on the boat, Brother Jason. Uh, uh, listen, with a bunch of prisoners. Uh, uh, listen, to Paul, Paul told them before he even left the shore. Uh, uh, boys, if this ship goes out, it's going to be a wreck. Uh, uh, it's going to be tossed. Uh, uh, and it's going to be damaged. Uh, uh, but listen, they went to the captain and they said, uh, uh, is this man telling the truth? And the captain said, no, we'll be okay. Uh, uh, but listen, when they went out onto the ocean there, uh, uh, they began to sail. Uh, uh, Sister Misty and they, uh, uh, just like Paul said, the boat began to get rocked and turned. Uh, uh, listen, and they began to fear for their lives. Uh, uh, but you know what? Paul stood up there and he said, uh, uh, fear not, for not a hair on your head will be touched. And that took faith, Brother Jason. Uh, uh, for an angel of the Lord came to me uh, uh, and said, we'll be fine now. Uh, uh, but you know what? The men still doubted, Brother Elisha. Uh, they doubted what Paul said, Brother Josh. Uh, you know what they begin uh, uh, to cast another little boat over the side, Brother Jason, uh, uh, and they were going to get in it and, uh, and sail back out into another boat. But Paul said, wait a minute, uh, uh, unless you abide in the ship, uh, uh, you can't be saved, Brother Jason. Uh, uh, we got to abide in the ship, Brother. Uh, uh, we got to stay in the ship today. Uh, uh, now listen, when you get in the ship with Jesus Christ, uh, uh, the storm is going to come your way. Uh, uh, you'll still feel the waves beating on your boat, uh, uh, and you'll feel the rain fall upon it, uh, uh, but just like a Noe God, uh, uh, He'll give you a window at the top of that boat, uh, uh, and brother, if you look, you'll see home just in, uh, uh, just off in the distance, brother, uh, uh, but listen, I tell you like this, uh, uh, Paul told them stay in the boat, uh, uh, and you'll be saved, brother, and uh, uh, listen, they begin, uh, I'm just in the high points, brother, yeah, I'm out of the way, uh, the best of the day And the back of the ship broke apart from the waves. Yeah. Uh, oh, why did God let the ship break? Uh, I'll tell you, Brother Jason, like this. Uh, uh, brother, there were some men on the boat that could swim, Brother Elisha. Uh, and there were some that couldn't. Uh, uh, listen, and Paul stood and told them, he said, uh, uh, Those of you that can swim, uh, uh, go ahead and jump off and swim to shore. Uh, um, but those that can't, uh, uh, there'll be little planks out there floating in the water. Uh, and just start out the shore. Uh, uh, oh, I'm glad God today. Uh, uh, he'll provide a way for the Jason. Yes, he will. Uh, listen, it may not be the easiest way, uh, uh, or it may not be the way you ask for, uh, uh, but trusting in God today, uh, uh, He'll provide a way for you, brother. And, uh, uh, listen, I'll tell this, and I'll get out of the way. You're not in the way, buddy. There was a little girl one time, and she was blind, Brother Elisha. You all heard this before, no doubt. Well, I hear it again. Go ahead. There was a little girl, she was blind. She had a daddy, and her mommy had left them, Brother Paul. And they lived up on the second story of an apartment. And at least this little girl was blind, and she couldn't see nothing, but she could hear. And she knew when daddy was talking, brother. Yeah. I'm glad today that the Bible says we'll know his voice, brother. Sir. Right. Amen. We'll know his voice. We don't have to guess, is that God? We'll know it is. But this daddy, listen, he was up on the second story of this apartment and he had to run down to the store. It was just a block away and he locked the doors up and he told the little girl, he said, sit here on the couch. Daddy will be right back. I'm just running to get some stuff at the store. And he went down to the store there and he got some milks and he got some eggs and uh, uh, bread and he began to start back. But as he came out of the store, he noticed a fire truck was going down the road and listen, brother, and, uh, he looked up ahead, Brother Jason, and there he saw the apartment building that he lives in was uh, engulfed in flames and smoke began to come out of that building. And, uh, listen, all he could think about them was my little girl's in trouble. I'm glad today, Brother Jason, that God knew I was in trouble, Brother Elisha. Uh, listen, Daddy dropped all that he had in his hand and he began to run towards home. Uh, listen, Brother Jason, he began to look and there was fire 
trucks and firemen there, and they couldn't go in the building. Uh, but listen, there was that little girl up the window with the window open. And no doubt she could feel the fire all around her and smell the smoke. But you know them firemen, they stretched out a big blanket. And they begin to holler at her and say, you got to jump. You're in danger. Jump down. Uh, but this little girl, she wouldn't come out of the window, brother. So she didn't feel safe. Uh, listen, no doubt she could feel the smoke and fire all around her. But she was standing in the window. Uh, but then there came a man down the road. Uh, uh, listen, it was her father's boyfriend. Brother Josh, a uh, uh, boy when daddy talks with father sheets, uh, uh, we know it's him, I'm glad. Uh, uh, January the 26th, 2012, uh, I heard the voice, Brother Elisha, uh, uh, but I've never heard it before. Uh, uh, brother, he was talking so sweet to me. Uh, uh, come taste and see that I am good today. Uh, uh, brother, if you don't know the Lord, uh, uh, get to know him. How do I get to know him? Uh, uh, preacher, you don't know what all I've done. What more would he have you to do? Nothing. He wants you to, to believe, Brother Jason. To cry out. I believe a man and a woman has to have two things, two considerations to be saved. And that's a contrite heart or a contrite spirit and a broken heart. Hey Amen. If you got those two things and God's dealing with your heart, you can be saved. We have an Easter church service here today. And what a testimony that'd be to go back home. Go back home to your family and to say, you got a new daddy or you got a new mom. What a day that would be for those. I told you in the earliest part of my message that I feel like on Easter morning, that was the second best morning. What's the first best morning? Brother, and there's going to be a morning coming, Brother Jason, for those that know the Lord. It's going to be a morning of greatness, of joy, of happiness. This will be a morning that, listen, you better hope that your name's down on the book of life. You better begin to uh, pray and get right with God because I feel like that we're in the last days, Brother Josh. Yeah. I feel like everything's already met in the Bible, but one thing, one thing it took place just yet. God has not told His Son to come back for His children. Uh, but listen, on this morning, of all mornings, uh, we're going to take flight out of here, Brother Fred, and we're going to go home. We're going to go land our flight over in heaven's land. But listen, not a lot of preachers will preach this to you, but there's going to be some left behind, Brother Josh. And for those that's left behind, then what would you give, Brother Jason? What would you give to go back to that seat you were sitting in and uh, looked up at the preacher and you heard that knock at your heart's door and uh, there was something asking to come in. That's just not something, Brother Jason. Uh, uh, that's the best friend you'll ever have on this side of the earth uh, uh, and on the other side. I've got a friend in me. Uh, uh, listen, that says no matter if I lay on my bed of affliction for 40-some years, uh, he'll be there, Brother Fred. Uh, uh, listen, he just don't save me to leave me. He saves me to keep me. Amen. Uh, uh, listen, and I'm thankful for that. Man. They begin to sing. And I, I don't know, do you want to tell them, Brother Jason? No, no, just wait and get the call. As they begin to sing, how is it with you? Soon your little children are going to come out. And they're going to find Easter eggs and they're going to enjoy themselves. But when you go home tonight and bedtime comes and you lay down on your pillow and you ask yourself, is there peace in my heart? Amen. Don't mean to just step on no toes here today, Brother Jason, but I just got to preach it, amen, as I feel. I'm one that knows in a knowing religion, amen. Some just believe in a hope, and that, uh, it's fine. I won't, uh, I won't lose confidence in you, but I believe a man knows, amen, if he's born again or not. Uh, brother, and I believe that a man knows that when he lay down at night that he knows he's got a peace in his heart, Brother Jason. Amen. I feel that in my heart. So if, if there's anything that I can say to you is you better know. You better know that if your eyes close shut and they'll never open again, where will you be? Yeah. Where will you be? Yeah. He began to sing, Brother Jason, or whatever you want to do. <coughs> he begins to sing. How is it with you?